Hey everyone, today at Veggie Life, I am going to show you how to make Lachha Paratha at home. You can serve these parathas with any curry in the North Indian or even South Indian cuisine. So let's get started on the procedure. To begin this recipe, I have taken two bowls of atta and to that I will be adding half a teaspoon of ajwain seeds or carom seeds. Now we'll add half a teaspoon of salt and three tablespoonfuls of oil. Now let us mix all the ingredients together. We need to make sure that the oil gets completely incorporated into the flour and becomes of crumbly texture. Now let us add water to make medium to hard dough. Since we added oil in the mixture earlier, the dough will turn out too soft if we add a little more of water. Therefore, I have carefully added water while making this dough to make it medium to hard consistency. Once the dough is made, I take a bit of oil and coat it on all the sides. Now, we shall leave the dough to rest for about 10 minutes before we start to make parathas. After the dough has rested for 10 minutes, I take a small portion from the dough and flatten it with some dried flour using a rolling pin. Using dried flour will help us to keep the paratha from sticking to the bottom. At this stage, if your paratha is not circle enough, do not worry because we are still a few steps away from making a proper lachha paratha. Once the parathas have been rolled, take a dollop of desi ghee and add it to the top. Now use a brush or maybe even your fingers and spread the ghee evenly on all the sides of the paratha. I have taken some dried atta and added it to the surface wherever the ghee has been smeared on the paratha. Making sure that every part of the surface is covered with dry atta. Once this is done, we shall fold the paratha like a fan shape. The fan shaped fold that I am giving to the paratha must be done as carefully as possible. Each fold should not overlap one another but just sit right on top of one another. Now we take one corner of this fold and start to roll it inwards, making sure that the plates do not overlap but sit comfortably next to one another. Now let us see one more time how this paratha is made. Okay, now that we have seen the video and confirmed how to do it one more time, let us take the paratha and roll it out. An important point to note here would be, do not roll the paratha too thin. As the layers that we had made uh, when making the paratha will not come out perfectly and will start to stick together once again. Take an iron pan or an iron skillet Add a little bit of oil to the surface and place your paratha on the top of it. Here you are able to see how the layers have formed into a radial circle. Turn the paratha around and you will notice that the brown spots will have formed. This means that one side has been cooked. Now turn it over again to cook it on the other side. Here you will start to notice that the steam comes out from the layers and from beneath. Put your palate on top of the paratha to stop the steam from escaping. In between I take some ghee and brush it on top of the paratha to keep it from becoming too dry. Make sure that your paratha gets cooked on all the sides. Remove the paratha and put it in a bread basket. I have taken one more paratha to demonstrate this one more time. 
it is important to smear your paratha with a little bit of oil or ghee in between to keep it from becoming too dry when it is getting cooked on the iron pan for making rotis parathas and chapatis it is best to use an iron pan compared to a non stick or a teflon pan the reason being that parathas chapatis tandoori's naans and all the kind of flat breads that we have in india are best cooked when they are cooked at medium to high temperature and cooked for a less amount of time using a non stick or a teflon based pan is more convenient and easier but there is a problem as teflon pans can only be operated at low to medium temperature if you make the mistake of handling them at high temperatures the teflon pans will start to slowly wear out and peel off the teflon and allow the teflon to seep into our food which is not only dangerous but in a longer term also cancerous now that my lachha parathas are done i will be serving it with some aloo gobi curry and butter on the top with some coriander sprinkled do try this recipe and let me know how you like it for more recipes like share and subscribe at veggie life bye